The soldier picks up the rocket launcher and fires it at the new armored vehicle 20 meters away. A loud bang was heard. A fist-sized crater was left in the armor plate. Such an amazing defensive capability. All the officers in the stands clapped their hands in admiration, but only Lieutenant Colonel John who had been appointed by the Ministry of Defense to test the vehicle, was worried. He noticed something was not quite right, so he decided to take a closer look. The armored transport vehicle, which took 17 years to build and cost $14 billion to develop. But before he could take a few steps two army captains rushed over to stop him. For safety reasons, you can't go near the vehicle for an hour. Because this is a live fire test, we're afraid there might be an accident. This talk obviously didn't convince John. So the next morning he went to the vehicle alone. To look at the gun pits from yesterday's test, he looked again and again. Then John went into the test base's ammunition store, opening the wooden crates, and found that the ammunition for the test were all made in Romania. To test the true power of the rockets, John had his soldiers bring in a 10 centimeters thick steel plate. On the way,